Kia ora. This is Lizzie reporting for Kia Kids News. Today we're at Rotorua Primary School and we're going to meet New Zealand's winning Aquabot team. The Aquabots competition was started by the US Navy to get kids into science and engineering. And now kids from all over the world build robots and compete. Our school's team is going to the world champs in the USA. Let's go meet their Aquabot. These kids are in the Aquabots team and earlier this year they won the national competition for their awesome underwater robot. For the competition, teams have to drive their Aquabots through an obstacle course, talk about what it can do and take on a mission challenge like finding pollution in the water. Dylan, what are we going to do today? So here today, we are going to be showing off our Aquabot here. Can you explain each part of the Aquabot to us? This rudder will make it so that it goes up and down. These two on the sides here will make it so that the Aquabot can not only turn, but go forward. And with this malleable wire on the sides, we can bend it out to pick up items. And dear, what's this wire for? This wire connects the Aquabot the battery and the controller together so you're able to drive it. Can you show me how it works and can I have a go at driving it? Yeah! yeah. And now we're going to throw it in the water. There she goes. She's turning around, she's looking back at us. She's moving so beautifully. What's the key to making an awesome robot? Um, the key is actually to make it as light as possible. So what you want it to be able to do is to glide through the water. from driving it. Wow, this is super cool. This is so fun. It kind of makes a fighting noise too. That is a very big fart. These kids did it all by themselves. And soon, they'll be off to the World Aquabot Champs in the USA. Matsu Sam, what's so special about this Aquabot? A group of five students have worked very hard to come up with um, a design. They've worked very hard to also make it through to regionals in which we placed third. And then coming first at nationals was the cherry on top for me. Um, I'm, we're super proud of them as a school, but also as a local community, we're all very proud of their efforts. After seeing that Aquabot, I think we've got a winner. Good luck guys for the World Champs in June. This is Lizzie reporting for Kia Kids News.